this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and today we're going to work on this guy right here. This is an elephant tree or also known as Opaculacari the Cari. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. But anyways, before we get started on this tree, I thought I wanted to address a few of the questions that I've gotten over the last few days. So a lot of you have been asking if they can start to repot their trees at this time of the year and why am I doing it. So in every video at the beginning I always say that uh, I can only repot the trees because I'm so far south in Florida. So I'm in super tropical climate where it's still, uh, you know, at night it's still around 65 right now. And during the day sometimes it goes up to 95 at this point still. So I can get away with a lot more than some of you can. So what I recommend is before you start to repot your trees that you actually do some uh, research and find out if uh, the trees that you are about to repot that is the right time of the year to actually repot those trees. Um, this tree right here um, is one of my favorite trees uh, that I have. I know I say that a lot. I have a lot of favorite trees. <laughs> um, this Opaculicari de Cari uh, comes from Madagascar and it is a succulent. Now, however, this is a very interesting succulent because if you water it, it continues to grow. If you stop watering, it stops. So it kind of acts like a desert rose, right? Um, I water this tree every single day, uh, 365 days. And we have it potted in our all-purpose uh, soil mixture, which is the same as always, the pumice, lava rock, the calcite clay, and the pine bark. And, and as a fertilizer, I use our all-purpose uh, fertilizer, which you can, by the way, get on our website, uh, which is www.thebonsaisupply.com. So everything that you see in these videos, the tools that we use, the wire, the soils, insecticides, fertilizers, everything that you see, we actually offer it on our website as well. Video. Now let me tell you what I'm going to do to this tree in today's video. So, it is very leggy. Um, I've let it grow for the last year, so uncontrollably, and I got a lot of growth out of it. So this is about a year's growth. They grow fairly fast, but they become very leggy, and it takes a really long time for the branches to actually thicken up. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to wire and shape the tree, remove some of the uh, unnecessary branches, and I'm going to start to put some shape into the branches. All of these branches are completely straight, and I want to go ahead and fix that now. When I acquired this tree, um, I acquired it maybe four, four years ago, something like that, and it had two tops. So it had a lot of top that grew out of here. I removed this in the meantime, and this entire piece here is maybe only about maybe three years old. So I grew this entire uh, apex in about three years. So now I have to go in and actually start to bend the top and start to shape it. Now, it was suggested to me that you know, I could make a couple trees out of this one tree. I could make a tree here, and I could do that by air layering. When you air layer a tree, you remove the bark, you use growing hormones, moss, and then you uh, wrap it in saran wrap or clear wrap foil, and then new roots will start to grow from this area, and then I can cut this off and make another tree. And then I can make another tree up here, However, um, these guys are always very, very tall uh, when you see them as a bonsai as well as in nature. That's just how they grow in nature. So I want to really stay with that design of having it very tall. And what you see on most Opaculocari the Carides is that the uh, base is thinner and then it gets thicker to the top. So this is thick and then it gets really thin here and then it gets thick again up here. So this is not anything that I did wrong when I started uh, growing this tree. That's just a tree's natural way of, of growing. So I'm gonna incorporate that into the design. And uh, first thing that I'm gonna do now is just gonna go ahead and remove all the branches that I don't need. But first, let me give you a 360 and then we're gonna get started. <laughs>
So as I was wiring, I came across this very long and straight, heavy branch up on top. So if I were to try to bend this entire branch, I would have a really hard time. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna come back here to the last branch that's a lot thinner, cut this off, and now I can go ahead and wire this branch into place a lot easier than the thicker branch that I had before. So now I can take this main wire, wire in this main branch, and then take another wire and wire into these two branches here. thick enough in order to bend this branch. So now I have two wires that go across this branch all the way out here into the tip. Um, I did shorten it here and now by shortening it there now I was able to put a lot more movement into the branch. And so I do this with a lot of branches when they are very thick and then uh, they're just very very long. I cut them off at a certain point and then use these branches uh, use a different branch and then continue this main branch and that's how I get really really nice branch branch here I left very long and there's a good reason for that. So this is my sacrifice branch and this is my sacrifice branch. I'm letting these two run 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 until the trunk is thickened up uh, just a little bit more. I, I'm not quite happy where the tree is at this point. I want it to be a lot thicker down here and there's already stretch marks in here that show that the tree is already stretching. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to wire these two branches out so that they're out of the uh, area here and then at the end I'm just going to bend it up like this and now this you can catch the sun and it can continue to grow. As this sways in the wind this will automatically thicken up really quickly. Uh, the same with this branch here. I'm bend it out like this and then I'm just going to bend it up. And now I'm going to start with the first branch which is this one actually actual first branch. So. I just saw that I missed a, a little branch here. These trees are extremely uh, difficult to come by, um, especially this size. This is a very old one. Um, another thing that I also didn't mention is that the uh, Opercularcar, the car eyes, they have the tiniest, tiniest little flowers you'll ever see. They're, they're super small and they're purple. So this here is my first branch now. This is my sacrifice branch. So actually the sacrifice branch will go away eventually once the trunk is at my desired thickness. So now that this one is my first branch, I can place the second branch, which is this one up here. and I think it came out really good, much better than, than I expected. Um, this is the very first styling that this tree has ever had. Before it was just allowed to grow, I cut it back really hard, it was allowed to grow again, cut it back really hard. 
Now, some of the things that you're going to notice once I take the camera closer is that some of these branches uh, on top are thicker than the bottom ones, which is not really a problem. I can um, correct that in, in less than a growing season. So, for instance, this one is really, really thick. So I'm waiting for another shoot to come out uh, from the side that I can cut this off and then wire the new shoot into place. Now this one is also thicker than the bottom one, so I'm just going to keep this one trimmed back all the time. Uh, this one that is very thin, but I need to have this branch here. I'm just going to let it grow out around until it gets very thick, cut it back, and then the same over here. So this one is very thick, this one is very thin, this one is very thin, I'm going to let these two grow, where I'm going to have these cut back constantly. Since this one is a lower branch, I want it to be a little thicker, so I let it grow out again. But since this is the very first styling, I am very, very pleased. So all I'm going to do is take it out of this pot, clean the roots, put it back inside, and I'm going to use our all-purpose soil mix for that. So job is the soil's job is to uh, develop a really healthy root ball and you see all these very fine roots that's an indicator that this tree is very very healthy Again, this right here is a sacrifice branch, so I'm just going to keep it there until the trunk has thickened up to my desired thickness. The same as this branch, the rest of the branches, I'm very pleased the way that they are placed. Uh, this tree looks really, really old right now. It looks very heavy. It looks like it had a tough time growing, right? Um, I think this is very cool. I still, all of my trees have really cool names, so you know, usually they have like an animal name. Now this guy, I don't really have a name for it yet. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas. That would be awesome. So this is it here for today. Um, be sure to tune in next week again on Wednesday. Next week, I'm gonna talk about the uh, watering system that we use here. Um, it's a uh, watering drip system for bonsai. I'm gonna show you from the timers that we use, uh, what lines we use, and how we get them into the pots. I'm gonna go through all that, as well as where you can buy all of these supplies. So be sure not to miss next week's episode. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week. 